Hi Marvin. I'm making a video response to Aliens and Evolution, and this might sound really weird, but I also think that we come from extraterrestrials. I mean, I've heard of the theory of panspermia, and you know, it says the seeds of life were brought to Earth by comets. Like, a lot of things also make up us, uh, so like carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, it tra travels in the dust of comets. And, um, I read that like top percentages of humans and comes differed by like 3.5%. Um, it was a book. I forget which book I read today. But, uh, anyway, the, um, the uh, book I want to share is God's Living Millennium by Ellen F. Alford. And there's a part in chapter 2 about like Adam being mixed with God and the Homo erectus. Um, and the same chapter says a little about like the three main lines of genetic science, um, cloning, gene splicing, and cell fusion. Uh, cloning, the book states, removing a set of 23 chromosomes from an ovum and planting it with a set of 46 chromosomes from any human cell, which would lead to conception and birth of a predetermined individual. And for gene splicing, uh, DNA forming by either inserting a gene or removing a gene from a DNA strand. DNA strands are cut into separate places and then recombined. And cell fusion, says, involves the creation of new hybrid species by fusing cells from two different sources into something called a supercell, made of two nuclei and a double set of the paired chromosomes, and so splits the garbled mixture of results. Yeah. Anyway, you know, the, the part of the book is really interesting, and I thought I'd share that. Um, I got the set of chapters, I don't know if uh, that might be at other bookstores, and I don't know if there's chapters in states or not, I don't know. Um, the book also covers like other topics like the pyramids, the Sphinx, uh, the Flood, and some stuff relating to the Bible. Um, anyway, I think uh, what we could come from extraterrestrials. Um, as, like when you look at the rays from Roswell, the, the, the UK's from Roswell, they look so hu they look so humanoid in appearance, uh, like the hands and the feet, um, and and like just. The way they look, kind of like the nose a little bit too. Um, I think my animals believed that uh, we come from ETs. Like I first had the thought that people could come from ETs when I was like, I don't know, 13, 14, something like that. I can't really remember. It was been so long ago. I was been into like you know, the UFO since I was like I know, 10 or something. I was reading about them. Uh, and when I first thought of that idea, like, I thought it sounded a little crazy at first, too, like, now, I don't know if, I don't know, it may, no, to me, I don't know if it sounds a little more crazy, but now, I don't know, to me it makes sense a little, just because it looks so similar to us, so I don't know. Um, like, all the questions, like, why would we have this intelligence level so higher than the than chimpanzees and the other ape cousins, um, and not have some sort of other genes that would, ca would cause us to be that way. Um, I mean, I think when you look at panspermia theory, the comets, and elements in the comet dust could play a role in how humans evolved as well. Um, or I don't know, maybe the comets themselves they could describe like the elements of what people might call soul or energy uh, become reborn, like they're kind of like supernova and the second stardust. Um, anyway, I thought I'd share that, and uh, thanks for bringing that up because I really like the topic of extraterrestrials and the possibility of life on other planets. And, that, and um, also thanks for uh, emailing me that book, Genio. About geniocracy and the of the government, that I found really interesting as well. And I think, like, something needs to be done too for the world. Like, I think that, I mean, so much, so much geniocracy as far as genius go, where their challenges level so, so high. Like, I think that, I was, I was a little getting cut off from ETs, but I think. The geniocracy, I think, for intelligence levels, like, it's not so much how high the intelligence level is, like, it could be 130 or 140, whatever people, but I think it's, like, how you, how people use that intelligence, 
to uh, you know make the world better. Like they were talking about, uh, you know, it's about peace and stuff like that. A little better place. And uh, let's see, there's something else about the book I'm trying to remember. I can't think of it right now. But anyway, I thought that was an interesting book too, so sharing that. And um, I don't know, I think for like the world, I think, uh, I don't know, sometimes I think like a peace movement happening or something, I don't know. Anyway, I'm probably talking too much here. But I just, just thought I'd share that. And, um, yeah, peace out.